Rockfort Distillery Coriel White Port Cask South Australian Single Malt Whiskey, the Truth Malters Cask Strength Edition. What's it like? Should you grab one of these? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Good day, my whiskey people. Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Rockfort Distillery. Rockfort Distillery from South Australia. This is their Coriel White Port Cask, the Cask Strength Edition, which comes from Truth Malters. A few cool things about this um, beautiful bottle. They took a special care, special care in choosing a really unique cork stopper. And it weighs 150 grams. And this is just amazing. This is probably the coolest in the whiskey industry. And I believe this is heavier than the Signet Cax uh, cork stopper, which is also quite heavy, as you know. So do not drop that. Don't throw it. You'll hurt someone. All right, beautiful. All right, well, let's get that poured. And I'm going to be using my Tuath Irish whiskey glass. And I'm using this because I love the fact that it's flared and it also does a great job of um, allowing the whiskey to evaporate and come up to a nice narrow entryway there. So we'll get that poured right away. And a quick shout out to, well, the Winnipeg Whiskey Club. Let's check this bottle out. Okay, here we go. And that's about all I need. Little bit left there, so that's good. Now, Pedigree, let's talk about Pedigree. His family also owns the McLaren Vale Distillery. And he himself is a former CEO of uh, the Lark Distillery on Tasmania. So then he opened Rockfort Distillery in 2018. So you're thinking, is this a two-year-old whiskey? But uh, the color, the, the nose, the palette, none of this tells me that it's two years old. I'm going to go out on, out on a limb here and say that this is probably... Hmm... I'm, I don't know, eight years old, eight years old, nine years old, 10. My palate tells me it's about that. Maybe even a bit older. My palate tells me. Of course, Australia has a warmer climate, much, much hotter than, uh, than um, Scotland or Canada. So let's check out the color first of all. Rockfort Distillery's Coriel White Port Cask. Cask strength at 65.1% ABV. What do you see there for color? What a very golden amber honey hue. So unusual, so rich and uh, bright, bright, bright orange. And if this were um, from Johnny Walker, you would say, oh, it's colored. However, this is absolutely natural and it's gorgeous. And I could stare at that all day long. Beautiful. Okay, the legs. Very slow first legs. Extremely slow. They have not come anywhere near the bottom yet. And quite showy secondary legs. Just beginning to start. Still beating at the top of the lip. But you can see they follow the original path. Gorgeous. Can you see all that? Okay, so the nose... It comes off slightly like a bit of that sort of cognac type of a nose. So big, big dried fruits, dried Thompson seedless raisins. Straight up cognac nose. In fact, it smells like uh, Rémy Martin cognac. <laughs> Then there's a little bit of spice, some white pepper, some slightly savory fruits here. So a little bit of honeydew. A little bit of Saskatoon berry.
baked in a pie. You get a little bit of an almondine-like note as the seeds inside those Saskatoon berries end up roasting and uh, makes a volu- just a amazing almondine, slightly marzipan note. Vanilla bean. And if someone stuck this under my nose and said, how old is this? I don't think I would say it's less than 18 years old. Smelling this now. There is a ginger candy note in the background there. A little bit of a toasted oaky note. Beautiful. Well, time to taste it. First off, a big cheers to Bill and Larry Shane and all of the Shanes. To John Rockfort <laughs> and to the Winnipeg Whiskey Club. Cheers, everybody. Big, big ABV, but it's balanced with unreal rich sweetness, making you think that it's less than 65 and more like about 58, 56, 54 even. It starts off beautifully sweet tart, slightly like sweet tart candies. A little bit of bright icing sugar. And then as you as you kind of roll it on your tongue, fruit puddings. Lots of vanilla. Those Saskatoon berries. A little bit of this cantaloupe note coming through in the palate as well. Lots of vanilla. The finish, the finish is a little bit spicy, a little bit dry, but quite sweet and thick. And I can still taste it everywhere in my mouth. Hint of that zesty oak. It's a little bit, a little bit zesty, a little bit sherbety. Peach skins. Kumquat citrus fruits. Those Thompson seedless raisins coming through. Quite nice. And I want to add about 10 drops to this little amount. Five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Round about ten milliliters left, and I added less than a milliliter of water. Yes, I want to let that settle for just a minute. All right, so let's get back into that and check out the nose with water now for the Rockfort Distillery Coriol White Port Cask. And I get more of those sumptuous raisins. A little bit of milk chocolate coming through here. Milk chocolate. A little bit of uh, creme brulee. Creme, creme brulee. <laughs> and uh, some cocoa. Something kind of like, oh, what's that called? I forget that dessert with the mascarpone cheese, with the uh, lady fingers soaked in a little bit of uh, Italian liqueur, dusted with um, the cocoa. What's that called? Uh, it's gone. Totally gone. It smells like that dessert. The cocoa. That creaminess. Beautiful. Okay. The palette now. A slight warm wood smokiness coming through here. More fruits, nectarines now. Nectarines, no, 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 apricots. Apricots. This is still probably high 50%. 100% perfect drinking strength. The 65.1 is great as well, but you have to take micro sips. When you add a bit of water, 
You can increase the size of your sip. You can keep it on your tongue a bit longer. The finish with water also is predominantly this apricot with that little bit of that uh, that dessert I was talking about. What is it called again? Ah! Okay, final taste here. The slightest little hint of Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Just sort of bubbling up there. Beautiful. Well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Rockford Distillery Coriol White Port Cask Truth Malters. The truth is. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 93 out of 100. You heard it. 93 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Rockford Distillery Coriol White Port Cask. Another view of that beautiful cork. Gorgeous, eh? Super heavy though, wow. Well, I've got a little bit left there. Cheers again, everyone. Ninety-three. It's really, really nice. Let's go with 94 out of 100. That's it. 94 out of 100. The new Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Rockfort Distillery Corio White Pour Cask. Cask strength. Beautiful stuff. Check them out. If you're in Canada, Truth Malters, have a look at their website. Have a look at their Facebook group. And if you're in Winnipeg, check out the Winnipeg Whiskey Club. We meet the last Wednesday of every month. So mark that on your calendar. Check out the website, winnipegwhiskeyclub.com, all right? And if you're enjoying Whiskey Whistle, then subscribe to the channel. It's right there. You just click that and you subscribe and then you hit the bell. Ding, ding. That way you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. And if you are interested in getting a little bit more involved with Whiskey Whistle, then jump into the Whiskey Whistle Patreon account, patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle and join the Whiskey Whistle crew, okay? Take care, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Bye.